Glory to you, O giver of life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill among the people. We praise you, we bless you, we worship you, we glorify you, we give thanks to you for your great glory. O Lord, heavenly King, God the Father Almighty, only begotten Son, Lord Jesus Christ, and Holy Spirit, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You who take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You who sit at the Father's right, and have mercy on us. For only you are the Holy One, only you are the Lord Jesus Christ. To the glory of God the Father, Amen. Every day will I bless you. I will praise your name forever to the ages of ages. Count us worthy, Lord, of passing this day without sin. Blessed are you, O Lord, God of our fathers. Your name is praised and glorified forever. Amen. Let your mercy descend upon us, O Lord, for we place our hope in you. Blessed are you, O Lord, Blessed are you, teach me your commandments. Blessed are you, O Lord, blessed are you, teach me your commandments. Blessed are you, O Lord, blessed are you, teach me your commandments. You have been our refuge, Lord, from one generation to the next. I cried out, Lord, have mercy on me. Heal my soul, for I have sinned against you. I run to you, O Lord, teach me to please you. For you are my God. For in you is the fountain of life, and in your light we see light. Pour forth your mercy on those who know you, Holy God, Holy Mighty. Holy Immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, Holy Mighty, Holy Immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, Holy Mighty, Holy Immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Holy Immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Today, salvation.
has come to all the world. Let us sing to him who rose from the grave, the very source of our life. By his own death he destroyed death, bestowing on us victory and his great mercy. Good morning. This morning we have an odd situation in that our live stream microphones are working very well, but those in the church right now are off. So we are going to do our best. We're doing our best to fix the problem, but we are going to do our best to speak loud and for you to listen. So know that we're working on it, and we pray to God that you can hear us still as we're offering our prayers to our Lord. Υπέρ της άνωθεν ειρήνης και της σωτηρίας των ψυχών ημών, του Κυρίου δε ήθωμεν. Κύριε Αλαϊσό, υπέρ της ειρήνης του σήμαντος κόσμου, ευσταθίας των Αγίων του Θεού Εκκλησιών και της των πάντων ενώσεως, του Κυρίου δε ήθωμεν. Κύριε Αλαϊσό, Υπέρ του Αγίου Οικουτούτου και των μεταπίστεως ευλαβίας και φόβου Θεού Ισιόντων εν αυτό του Κυρίου Δεήθωμεν. Κύριε Λαϊσόν, υπέρ των ευσεβών και ορθοδόξων χριστιανών του Κυρίου Δεήθωμεν. For Archbishop Alexius, for the Honorable Presbyterate, for the Diaconate in Christ, and for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our country, for the President, and for all in public service, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this city His and for every city and land, and for the faithful who live in them, let us pray to the Lord. For favorable weather, for an abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who travel by land, sea, and air, for the sick, the suffering, the captives, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and distress, and from the perils of the coronavirus against us, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our brethren and those who lead the fight against the coronavirus, the doctors, the medical workers, the scientists and first responders, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever-Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life unto Christ our God. To you, Lord, to you belong all glory, honor, and worship to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. 
God, my God, hear me, why have you forsaken me? Tesres vietis theotokos ortes as anima. The words of my transgressions are far from my salvation. Through the intercessions of the theotokos, Savior, save us. Oh my God, I will cry out by day, but you will not hear me. Tres Αντιλαβούς όσων ελέησον και διαφύλαξον ημάς ο Θεός τη συγχαρητή. Τη Παναγία Αχράντου υπερευλογημένη, ενδόξου δεσπίνη ημών Θεοτόκου και αϊπαρθένου Μαρία, με τα πάντων των Αγίων μνημονεύσαντε, εαυτού και αλλήλου, και πάσαν την ζωή ημών. Χριστό το Θεό, παραθόμεθα. For yours is the dominion, the kingdom, and the power and glory of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. O God, why have you rejected us to the end? So, 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 Remember your congregation you acquired from the beginning. Save us, O Son of God, who were crucified in the flesh. Save us who sing to you, Alleluia. This Mount Zion where you encamp. So, so, ni masia theu, o sarkis abrathis, salonasi, alleluia. Doxa patrikeia, ke alio pramati, ke minkai, ke istu se onos tone oron hami. O mono genisi osie logos tu theu, Αθάνατος υπάρχον και καταδεξάμενος διάκτηνη μετέρα σωτηρίαν. Σακωθήλε εκ της Αγίας Θεοτόκου και αηπαθένου Μαρίας, αντρέπτος εν ανθρωπής σας. Again and again in peace, Lord, let Jesus us pray Christ, to the Psalm, Lord. Lord, Lord have mercy. mercy. Help us, Giving save us, us have mercy world, upon us, and, and protect us, O oh God, the by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life unto Christ our God. To you, Lord. For you are a good and loving God, and to you we give glory, to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Master and Lord our God, you establish in heaven the order of hosts 
hosts of angels and archangels to minister your glory. Lord, your Grant that your holy angels may enter with us together and may glorify and serve your goodness. For to you belong all glory, honor, and worship to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Over the enemy and by your cross protecting your Sophia, Lord, O Anastasek Nekron Salon Nasi Alleluia The women disciples of the Lord Having learned from the angel The joyous news of the resurrection and having rejected the ancestral decision, then told the apostles elatedly, Death has been stripped of its power, Christ God is risen, granting to the world his
του Κυρίου Δεϊθόμεν. Κύριε Λαϊσό, ότι Άγιος ή ο Θεός ημών και εσύ την δόξα να πέμπω με το Πατρί και του Υιό και του Αγίου Πνεύμα την Ιν και Αΐ. Και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων. I have been crucified for Christ, and with Christ it is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. And the life I now live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. Peace be with you, the reader. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. There's a beautiful prayer that we read before the gospel, and it's asking our Lord to shine in our hearts his pure light of the divine gospel. It tells us to open our minds, that's us, that we may comprehend the message that's about to be given to us. So these beautiful prayers have such important meaning. And then we ask our Lord to take away all of our sinful desires that we may pursue a spiritual life, thinking and doing all those things that are pleasing to him. For you, O Christ our God, are the light of our souls and bodies, the light. 
And to you we give glory with your eternal Father, your life-giving Spirit, now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. And then once, having asked our Lord to open our minds, we then hear the beautiful exclamation or the proclamation from the deacon, which is, Sophia Orthi. Wisdom arise. So now we arise to hear this important message of our Lord God and Savior. Go ahead, boys. Wisdom arise. Let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be with you all. And with your spirit. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Let us be attentive. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. The Lord said, If any man would come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. For whoever would save his life will lose it, and whoever loses his life for my sake and the Gospels will save it. For what does it profit a man to gain the whole world and forfeit his life? For what can a man give in return for his life? For whoever is ashamed of me and of my words in this adulterous and sinful generation, of him will the Son of Man also be ashamed when he comes in the glory of his Father with the holy angels. And he said to them, Truly I say to you, there are some standing here who will not taste death, before they see that the kingdom of God has come with power. Peace be with you, the reader, and all of you. Lord have mercy, no one bound by worthy desires with to approach, draw near or minister to you, the King of glory, to serve you as great and awesome, even for your heavenly powers, but because of your ineffable and immeasurable love for us, you became man without alteration or change. You assert as a high priest and as Lord of all entrusted to us the celebration of this liturgical service without the shedding of blood. For you alone, Lord our God, rule over all things in heaven and on earth. You are seated on the throne of the cherubim, the Lord of the seraphim, the King of Israel. You alone are holy and dwell among your saints. You only are good and ready to hear. Therefore, I implore you, look upon me, your sinful and unworthy servant and cleanse my soul and heart from an evil conscience. Enable me by the power of your Holy Spirit, so I vest it with the grace of priests that I may stand before your holy table and celebrate the mystery of your holy and pure body and your precious blood. Do I come about head and pray? Do not turn your face away from me, nor reject me from among your children, but rather make me your sinful and unworthy servant, worthy to offer to you these gifts. For you, O Christ, our God, are the one who offers and is offered, who receives and shrives and truly of glory the eternal Father, and your all holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and forever, into the ages of ages. Amen. We are missing represent the cherubim in the thrice holy of life, set aside all our worldly cares. We who missingly represent the cherubim and sing the thrice holy hymns of life-giving Trinity, and let us all venerate your cross of praise and praise and glorify your holy resurrection. For you are a God, we know no other than you. We call upon your name, come all faithful, let us venerate the holy resurrection of Christ. For through the cross joys come the world, the world. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your steadfast love, according to your abundant mercy, blood of my transgression. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin, for I know my transgression and my sin is ever before me. Against you only have I sinned and done evil in your sight, that you are justified in your sentence and blameless in judgment. Behold, I was brought forth in iniquity and sin are the bear me. Behold, you desire truth in me and were being. Therefore, teach me wisdom, my secret heart. Purge me with hyssop and I shall be clean. Wash me and I shall be whiter than snow. Fill my heart with joy and gladness and the bones that you have broken with joy. Hide your face away from my sins and blood and all my iniquities. Create me a clean heart of God and put a new right spirit in me. Cast me not away from your presence and take not your Holy Spirit from me. 
extortion and enjoy your salvation, and my tongue will sing aloud of your deliverance. You know the light and sacrifice for I to give to God, and will not be pleased. The sacrifice set the gods, they broke its spirit, they broke it like a trident. God, you will not despise. Do good, Lord, you can pledge the design, and let the wall of Jerusalem be built. Then they shall for bullets upon your all, then have mercy upon me, O God. Have mercy upon me, O God. Have mercy upon me, O God. Πάντοτε νυν και αγί και ει του αιώνα των αιωνών. Πρέβο υπετώτε, τρέπτε μάρε τόρι λόκρε στην Σαββά. Πόμενια σκά, ντόμνε μνούλε ντούμνε ζου, ουντρούε μπαράσια σα. Το ίδια η Ιωάννα, ακούν σε πουρουργάσε ουν βέτσι, βέτσι λόρε. Αμήν. Το Γόσποκ, Μποκς, Πομιένετς, Βένοτσου, Τσάρβος, Βόγε, Σβάδες, Άδεκ, Ιουβεκ, Ιούς, Βεβεκ, Κουβά. El Señor Dios te cuede de nosotros en tu reino eternamente ora y siempre por los siglos de los siglos. May the Lord our God remember all of us in his kingdom always now and forever and to the ages of ages. Bullet shall be offered upon your altar and a mercy upon me, O God. May the Holy Spirit come upon you. In light of the might of the high overshadow, and over his earth, so the Lord our God will remember you in his kingdom always. Amen. Υπότιτλοι AUTHORWAVE <laughs> <laughs> 
tu querido da y toman. Quería a la y son. Y per tu licené más a papá seis lipsos, or y es quien vino que anangis, tu querido da y toman. Quería a la y son. Andi la voz, o es en el eison, que de a filo que se anima a su teo este se jarite. Quería a la y son. Que ni me eran pasante lian, a lian ir ni quien que anamarte ton, para tu querido e ti so me fan. Para su querida. Lord Angel of Peace, the faithful guide, the guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask the Lord. For pardon and remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask the Lord. For all that is good and beneficial to our souls and for peace in the world, let us ask the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. For the completion of our lives in peace and repentance, let us ask the Lord. Oh, Lord. For a Christian and to our lives, peaceful without shame and suffering, and for a good defense before the awesome judgment seat of Christ. Grant this, O oh Lord. One another that with one mind we may confess. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, Trinity, one in essence and inseparable. The doors, the doors in wisdom, let us be attentive. Now with our microphones back all together. I believe, believe in, in one God, God the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten, not created, of one essence with the Father, through whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man. He was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate. He suffered and was buried and he rose on the third day according to the scriptures and he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again with glory to judge the living and the dead. His kingdom will have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the creator of life, who proceeds from the Father, who together with the Father and the Son is worshiped and glorified, who spoke to the prophets. In one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Amen. Stomen kalo, stomen metafovu, proskomen tina yena na foran, en irini prosferin. Eleoni binis, isi ionen esteo. 
the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God the Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Anos commentas cardias, let us lift up our hearts. We love the let us give thanks to the Lord. It is, it is proper and right to sing to you, to bless you, to praise you, to thank you, and to worship you in all places of your dominion, for you are God ineffable, beyond comprehension, invisible, beyond understanding, existing forever and always the same, you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit. You brought us into being out of nothing, and when we fell, you raised us up again. You did not cease doing everything until you led us to heaven and granted us your kingdom to come. For all these things we thank you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit for all the things that we know and do not know, for blessings seen and unseen that have been bestowed upon us. We also thank you for this liturgy which you are pleased to accept from our hands even though you are surrounded by thousands of archangels and tens of thousands of angels, by the cherubim and the seraphim, six-winged, many-eyed, soaring of their wings, singing the victory hymn, proclaiming, crying out, and saying, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, Sabo, Heavenly Lord, the glory, Hosanna to God in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Together with these blessed powers, merciful Master, we also proclaim and say, You are holy and most holy, you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit. You are holy and most holy and sublime is your glory. You so loved your world that you gave your only begotten Son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. On the night when he was delivered up, or rather when he gave himself up for the life of the world, he took bread in his holy, pure and blameless hands and giving thanks he blessed, he sanctified, he broke it, and he gave it to his holy disciples and apostles saying, Take eat, this is my body which is broken for you for the remission of sins. Lavete faiete tutum oestito soma, to ipenimon kolomenon isafesina martion. Amen. Likewise, after supper, he took the cup, saying, Drink of this, all of you. This is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for you and for many for the remission of sins. Pietex of tu pandes tutu estito emamu. We offer to you these gifts from your own gifts in all and for all. Once again, we offer to you this spiritual worship without the shedding of blood. And we ask, pray, and entreat you, send down your Holy Spirit upon us and upon the gifts you're presented. Father, bless the holy bread. And make this bread the precious body of your Christ. Amen. Father, bless the holy cup. And that which is in this cup of the precious blood of your Christ. Amen. Amen. Father, bless both Changing holy gifts. them by your Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 So that they may be to those who partake of them for vigilance of soul, forgiveness of sins, communion of your Holy Spirit, fulfillment of the kingdom of heaven, confidence before you, and not in judgment or condemnation. And we offer this spiritual worship for those who repose in the faith, forefathers, fathers, patriarchs, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, confessors, sinners, and forever righteous men, make perfect in the faith. Exodus, this panaia so grand, per vloi many send oxu de spinisi monte otoku, ke ai parthenu Marias. 
Nikki, the newly departed, and grant the rest of light of your count and shines again. We ask, Lord, you remember Orthodox bishops who rightly teach the message of your truth. All prayers, deacons, in the service of Christ, and everyone in holy orders. We also have to do spiritual worship for those in public service, and for all those living in purity and holiness, and for all those from Intimal, Lord, to serve and govern in peace that through the faithful conduct of their duties we may live a peaceful and serene lives in all piety and holiness. Above all, remember, Lord Archbishop Alexios, grant that he may serve your holy churches in peace, keep him safe, honorable, and healthy for many years, rightly teaching the word of your truth. Also remember, Lord, those whom each of us calls to mind, and all your people. Remember, Lord, the city in which we live, every city and country, and the faithful who live in them. Remember, Lord, the travelers, the sick, the suffering, the captives, granting them protection and salvation. Remember, Lord, those who do charitable work, those who serve in your holy churches, who care for the poor and send your mercy upon them all, and these your servants. We pray, O oh Lord, for the healing of soul and body for Marcia, Diana, Eleni, Ron, Lubov, Steve, Donis, Gus, George, Sergio, Rita, Jason, Sophocles, Pete, Tim, Tom, Peter, Urania, Peter, Thomas, Pat, Kim, Christos, Mary, Gus, Richard, Helen, Gina, Tarsi, for those who are battling the COVID-19 virus, Joanne, and for those who are enduring religious persecution throughout the world. And grant that with one voice and one heart we may praise and glorify your most honored and majestic name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. And the mercies of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ be with you all. And with your spirit. <clears throat> we know that life can change in just a moment. So quickly, an accident can occur, something can take place that changes our life forever. We've been praying for our dear sister Marcia, who just a week ago was sitting right here in the front row with us, praising at St. Mark and worshiping with us. She was tragically, as I've mentioned, hit by a car, and her son has told me that there are just catastrophic injuries. So while we are still praying for a miracle to take place, asking our Lord to heal her of soul and body, we are also praying that our Lord will take her at the right time. It's very difficult, but our prayers are with her, and we will continue to pray for her. These next few days are very important days. At St. Mark, these past week. We had such a beautiful week. You can see we're all starting to come back. I told Father Alex, what a blessing. Our altar is filled again with our young altar boys, and it's such a blessing to have them. This past week, already we started our ministries. On Monday, our bereavement ministry. On Tuesday, our Bible study. Greek school followed. We did a little Ayazmo service with the, the little Greek school children here in the church. Our synaxis on Thursday, where after paraclesis, we went inside and we watched a film on the life of St. Philumenos. Then our young at heart were meeting for their game day, having a blast. Today after church, our Sunday church school will be meeting here in the church. So I ask all of you, for those of you who are in Sunday church school and also the parents, after liturgy to remain in church and we're going to do a brief 10-minute informational first lesson today to kind of guide us on how we're going to be working for these next few weeks. And then tonight at 5 o'clock, our Goya's meeting, and then tomorrow we start it all over again. And that's indeed a blessing. Our Philopticus continues to do great things. This week on Thursday, we'll have our new steward reception. If you're a new steward, 
from 2019, 20, or 21, and you'd like to come Thursday night, call the office. We'd love to come. Come meet the clergy, the parish council, some of our leaders. You'll have an opportunity to meet each other. What's so important in a church, especially a large church, is that we make connections with our faithful and we're able to connect. Some of you I know here were actually at the New Steward reception four years ago and five years ago. It was one of the first times that I got to actually sit down and meet you. So please do your best to do that. And then following, as I said this week, we'll have our beginning of our Sunday church school. And this is such an important ministry. I could say it's the most important ministry educational opportunity the church offers because it gives our young people, our young children from this age to uh, 18, the opportunity to truly learn about God and to live their life. May we all be blessed. Let's continue to offer our prayers for those who are suffering in the world, for our dear sister Marcia, as we approach and walk toward the communion chalice. Again, having commemorated all the saints in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the precious gifts here presented and consecrated, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That our God, who loves mankind, having accepted them at his holy and celestial and mystical altar as an offering of spiritual fragrance, may return, send down upon us the divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy. Την ενότητα της πίστεως και την κοινωνία του Αγίου Πνεύματος ετησάμενη, εαυτούς και αλλήλους και πάσαν την ζωήν ημών, Χριστό το Θεό παραθόμεθα. Και κατ' αξίως των ημάς δέσποτα, μετά παρησίας ακατακρίτως, Τολμάν επικαλείστε σε το ρεπουράνιον Θεόν Πατέρα και λέγει Together, Πάτερ ημών, ο εν της ουρανής, αγιαστήτω το όνομά σου, ελθέτου η βασιλεία σου, γεννηθήτω το θέλημά σου, ως εν ουρανό και επί της ζής, τον άρτον ημών των επιούσιων, δώσ' ημιν σήμερον και άφησ' ημιν το εφελήμετα ημών, ως και εμείς αφήμιν το θελέτος ημών, και μη συνέγγιση μα εσπυρασμών, αλλά ρίσε εμά από του πονηρού. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but, but deliver, deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and glory of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. bow our heads unto the Lord. To you, o Lord. O Master, look down from heaven upon those of us who have bowed our heads before you. We have bowed not before flesh and blood, but before you, the awesome God. Therefore, Master, guide the course of our life for our benefit according to the need of each of us. Sail with those who sail, travel with those who travel, heal the sick physician of our souls and our bodies. By the grace, mercy, and love for us, of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Let us be attentive. The Holy Gifts for the Holy People of God. Break, Master. The Lamb of God is broken. It should be broken. Now, Master, the Lord, we come to sanctify those who are taken in Jesus. Christos, we come. The voice of this will be The cup is filled with its faith in the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, forgive me, sinner, have mercy upon me. Oh God, forgive me, sinner, have mercy upon me. 
my brothers, behold, I approach Christ, our immortal King and our God, the precious body of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ, is given unto me, Mark, you really preach for the remission of sins and life eternal. Again, I approach Christ, our immortal King and our God, the precious blood of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ, is given to me, Mark. I believe and confess, the Lord, that you are truly the Christ, the Son of the, the Father, living God, and the Son who of the came Holy into Spirit. the world to save sinners, of whom I am the first. Amen. I also believe that Amen. this is truly your pure body, and this is truly your precious blood. Therefore, I pray to you, have mercy upon me, and forgive my transgressions, voluntary and involuntary, in word and deed, known and unknown, and make me worthy without condemnation to partake of your pure mysteries, for the forgiveness of sins and for life eternal, amen. How shall I, who am unworthy, enter into the splendor of your saints? If I dare to enter into the bridal chamber, my clothing will accuse me, since it's not a wedding garment. And being bound up, I shall be cast out by the angels. In your love, Lord, cleanse my soul and save me. Loving Master, Lord Jesus Christ, my God, let not these holy gifts be to my condemnation because of my unworthiness but for the cleansing and sanctification of soul and body and the pledge of the future life and kingdom. It is good for me to cling to God and to place him in the hope of my salvation. Receive me today, Son of God, as a partake of your mystical supper. I will not betray your mysteries to your enemies, nor give you a kiss as did Judas, but as the thief I confess you, remember me, Lord, in your kingdom. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. These past few weeks, we've been in a celebration period of the church. You see, the church has various liturgical cycles. Nativity. We have the cycle of Lent. We also have the cycle at the beginning of the new ecclesiastical year, which is the cycle of the cross. We celebrate the Sunday before the cross. We celebrate the Sunday of the cross. We celebrate September 14th, Tustavru, the exaltation of the cross. And then the Sunday after, we celebrate the Sunday after the cross. You see, the cross is a central peace in the Orthodox Church. The cross is such an important element for all of us. We wear crosses around our neck given to us at the time of our baptism. We do the sign of the cross when we say in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit when the priest blesses or when maybe before we eat, before we get in the car, before a big task. The power of the cross is indeed powerful. I remember as a young man, and I was telling my father, Father Alexander, that I'm working with somebody, and they're experiencing evil thoughts in their head, and he said to me, just remind them, the power of the cross wards off all evil. Tell them, say these words, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. So thus, the cross gives us power, gives us strength, gives us endurance. This past week, we celebrated the exaltation of the cross that went after St. Helen found the true cross of Christ. She went to go dig, and she was looking for the burial tomb of Christ, the sepulchral. And she went to Jerusalem, and she said, let's dig here. And they dug here, and they found the tomb of Christ, so they knew that that was real, and they found three crosses the one Christ was buried on, and the two robbers. But then she had to figure out which one of those three was the true cross of Christ. And there was an elderly woman at that time, and she was on her deathbed, very sick. And they laid her on the first cross, and she rose up, and she lifted up, and she was healed. And they knew that that was the true cross of Christ. She was lifted up from her ailments, from her illnesses. In today's gospel, we hear a very powerful words. If anyone wishes to come after me, 
Christ himself is saying this to his disciples after he gave them, after Peter made the confession, you are the Christ, Lord. He said, if any one of you wishes to come after me, deny yourself, take up your cross, and follow me. Very difficult words sometimes to hear. Deny yourself. Take up your cross and follow me. To deny oneself, that means to put aside our selfish desires and wants and focus on Christ. To deny ourself means in the church we have something we call self-denial. We deny ourselves of the passions. We deny ourselves of those things that are pleasing to the earthly and thus we put our focus on Christ and we lift ourselves up with our Lord God and Savior like he did on the cross. Today in the morning in the matin service, we heard a beautiful hymn that was chanted, may you lift up our hearts, O Lord, as you were lifted on the cross. Today we are called to be lifted up, to be lift up our lives to our Lord God and Savior. Today, we are called to deny ourselves and to follow Christ. In the epistle reading today, one of my favorites, St. Paul writing to the Galatians, I have been crucified with Christ. St. Paul saying this, it is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. When we deny ourselves of the pleasures and the wants and the desires of this world, We can follow this example by saying it is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. And I pose that question to each of you today. Is Christ living in you? Are you denying yourself on a weekly, daily basis? Are you putting Christ first in your lives? The greatest example that we can have is that we too can say it is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me, putting aside our own, but asking Jesus Christ to come within us. So today, on the day that we celebrate the cross, the Sunday after the cross, and we're winding down from this beautiful period, we bless ourselves, we cross ourselves. We ask our Lord for strength from the cross. Let us look to the cross for strength, because it is no longer a sign of death, but rather it is a sign of new life in him. So when we look to the cross, as Orthodox Christians, we don't just put the focus on the cross itself, but always on what lies next, which is the resurrection. When we lift up our lives to our Lord, when we have Christ live in us, when we can deny ourselves and take up our crosses and follow him, then we too can live with our Lord and experience his glorious resurrection fully. I'll end with this. Yesterday I was having an in-depth conversation with somebody for about an hour on the phone about the church. And they were saying, I don't know if I need to physically be in church. And I said, that's great and that's your opinion and I'm not going to tell you you're wrong although you're wrong. However, what I am going to tell you is that I know for me, and I'm gonna tell you my personal experience, when I start my week off here in the church, I have a blessed week. When I come to our Lord and receive the body and blood of Christ, preparing myself, my week is blessed. I know that when I come and I fellowship with other Christians, when two or three gathered in my name, I know that I'm blessed. So some people, might think that it's okay to not enter into the church, but entering into these four walls, and when the Holy Spirit comes down upon these gifts, blessing and changing them to the body and blood of Christ, it also comes down upon each of us here and sanctifies us and lifts us up, allows us to truly deny ourselves, take up our cross, and follow him. So my brothers and sisters, Today, the Sunday after the cross, let the cross be a symbol in your lives, a symbol of self-denial, but then a symbol of Christ living in your lives. I promise you, when we give ourselves fully to him, he sends down his blessings upon us. By your cross, O Christ, we praise and glorify you. And I say this all in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit together, Amen. Metaphovu theo pisteos ke agapis proserthete. With the fear of God, love and faith come forward.
Where is he? No worries. He's got a tune track. For 
mercy, endure us forever. Alleluia. And let forth Israel out of the midst of them. Alleluia. For his mercy, endure us forever. Alleluia, for his mercy endureth forever. Alleluia. And redeemed us from our enemies. Alleluia, for his mercy endureth. God, your people, and bless your inheritance. We have seen the true light. We have received the heavenly spirit. We have found the true faith, worshiping the undivided Trinity. The Trinity who has Always, now, and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Arise, having partaken of the divine, holy, pure, immortal, heavenly life, creating an awesome mysteries of Christ. Let us thank the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Αντιλαβούς όσων ελέησον και διαφύλαξον ημάς ο Θεός τη συγχαρητή. Κύριε Αλαϊσόν. Having prayed for a perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless day, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life unto Christ our God. To you. Thank you, loving Master, benefactor of our souls, that on this day you have made us worthy once again of your heavenly and immortal mysteries, your precious body and blood. Direct our ways in the right path. Establish us firmly in your fear. Guard our lives and make our endeavor safe through the prayers and supplications of the glorious Theotokos and ever-Virgin Mary and of all your saints. For you are our sanctification, and to you we offer glory, to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Let us depart in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Lord, bless those who praise you and sanctify those who put their trust in you. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Protect the whole body of your church. Sanctify those who love the beauty of your house. Glorify them and return by your divine power and do not forsake us who hope in you. Grant peace to your world, to your churches, to the clergy, to the civil authorities, to those in public service, the armed forces, and to all your people. For every good and perfect gift is coming from you, the Father of lights. To you we give thanksgiving, honor, and worship. To the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Blessed is the name of the Lord, both now and to the ages. We pause and offer memorial.
Israel prayers, a 40 day for Kozovka Michatovic, a 40 day for Pascalis Drakidis, a one year for Catherine Sikaridis, a two year for John Argyros, a two year for Panayotis Katsunis, a 25 year for Olga Landazo. We also offer memorial prayers for the servants of God, Mary Riccardi, who was one of our shut ins that fell asleep earlier this week. Also for Peter and for Lester, may our Lord give them eternal rest. In your place of rest, O Lord, where all your saints repose, give rest to the souls of your servants, for you alone are immortal. Oxa Patrike, io che agio pnevmati, si o Theosimono catavasisavin, che tas odinas lisas, ton pepedimenon. Aftos, ketas fichas ton zulon su, so teran apavso. Now and forever to the ages of ages, amen. O only pure and immaculate virgin, who gave us birth to God in virginity, pray for the salvations of the souls of your servants. With the saints give rest, O Christ, to the souls of your servants, where there is no pain, sorrow, or suffering but life everlasting. O oh God, according to your great mercy, we pray to you hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the rest of the souls of God's servants. Olga, John, Kosuka, Catherine, Panayotis, Pascalis, Peter, Lester, and Mary, who have fallen asleep, and for the forgiveness of all their sins, both voluntary and involuntary. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. May the Lord God place their souls where the righteous repose. Let us ask for the mercies of God, the kingdom of heaven, and the remission of their sins from Christ, our immortal King and God. Grant this, o Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. O God of spirits and of all flesh, you trampled upon death and abolished the power of the devil and given life to your world. Give rest, O Lord to the souls of your servants, Olga, John, Kosovka, Catherine, Panayoti, Pascalis, Peter, Lester, Mary, Nikki, who have fallen asleep in a place of light, in a place of comfort, in a place of refreshment where there is no more pain, sorrow, or suffering. As a good and loving God, forgive every sin which they have committed, whether in word or deed or thought, for there is no person who lives not and does not sin except for you, the only sinless one. Your righteousness is eternal righteousness, and your word is truth. <laughs> For you, O 
Christ, our God, of the resurrection, the life, and the repose of your servants who have fallen asleep, and to you we give glory, together with your eternal Father and your all-holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. May your memory be eternal, our dear brothers and sisters, worthy of blessedness and eternal memory. May your memory be eternal, our dear sisters and brothers, worthy of blessedness and eternal memory. come upon you through his divine grace and love for us always, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to your God, our hope, glory to you. May Christ our true God who rose from the dead is a good, loving, and merciful God. Have mercy upon us and save us through the intercession of his most pure and holy mother, the power of the precious and life-giving cross whose exaltation we celebrate. The honorable protection of the honorable bodiless powers of heaven, the supplication of the honorable glorious prophet and forerunner John the Baptist, the holy, glorious, and praise of the apostles, our holy, glorious, and triumphant martyrs, our God bearing fathers of St. Mark the Evangelist, the patron saint of our church, of the holy and righteous angels of God, Joachim and Anna, of St. Trophimos, Sabatios, Dorimidon, the martyrs, Plato of Patmos, and Theodore of Tarsus whose memory we commemorate today and of all your saints, have mercy upon us and save us, for he is good who loves mankind. Through the prayers of our holy fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us and save us. May the Holy Trinity protect and keep all of you. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us all rejoice and be glad in it. I greet you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We welcome our visitors who are with us today from Brooklyn, St. Nectarios Eleni Vasilakos, and also from Chicago, St. Demetrius of Elmhurst, Pete and Christine Pajopas. May God bless you. A reminder for our Sunday church school children from pre-K all the way up to high school to remain in church. Come get on Dideron, and we're going to have a quick meeting as our first lesson today. And also following coffee hour today at 12.15, our Sirtaki dance starts. So just a reminder, may God bless you all. May God give eternal rest to those who have fallen asleep. And may you have a blessed week. Amen. <laughs>